There are some signs that we can look for in youth that may be prone to self-injury. Unfortunately today, youth at younger and younger ages are engaging in self-destructive behaviors. We have kindergartners, first graders, second graders that are beginning to engage in cutting and burning behaviors. One of the signs that we can look at is do they, are they experiencing anxiety in their life? What's happening in their lives such that they feel like they have to relieve themselves of the, of the emotions and the feelings that they're having? One of the other signs that we look at um, as professionals is what is happening in the family of origin. Many times that there's just a disconnection in the communication within the family, and so youth early don't feel that they can share their emotions, express themselves, and then they begin to hold everything inside. Then gradually it has to be released somehow. So then they discover that self-injuring is a way to release those emotions.